What's going on, brothers? It's Limey Tango the name. Got a video for you. It's Red Tato. I'm not happy. Here goes. This sentence is usually uttered by bag chasers, Jezebels, loathsome underhanded gold digging leeches who whose primary objective was to get married to have a divorce. They uttered this so they could keep the simp or the man trying to be married guessing. You see, while this bitch made simp or this man trying to butt plug will hear the sentence, they will whew, they will practically fight like an enraged beast to keep the relationship strong. Mend the wreckage. When the truth is, there is no wreckage. The truth is, he hasn't done anything wrong. The truth is, he's not lacking. And it goes like this. They don't understand that the woman that they laid down with, the woman that they married, the woman they tied the knot with, her objective was to divorce him and collect the loot. That was her primary objective. So let me ask you this. How many of those trollops have ran across the article titled Starter Husbands? How many? Thousands? Hundreds of thousands? Millions? The average bitch made simp, the average blue peel gimped out punching bag will say that you're full of shit when you tell them that there are actually articles out there called starter husbands. There are actually women out there who instruct women how to get married to get a divorce. Women, they are trollops out there who deliberately divide households for their own sick amusement. But then again, the bitch made sims, the man child butt plugs, they are part of our opposition. Same with the track cooks. You tell them this, and they'll lash out at you rather than accept the truth for what it is. Because a lot of them are thick between the ears. And it'll take them getting their head bitten off or getting ass raped in divorce court to realize that they've been had. But... That sentence, I'm not happy. It's not you, it's me, it's I'm not happy. All those other dogs, let me tell you something. I'm going to be very frank with you. When these trolls say that they're not happy, it usually means that they found someone else. And that they want you gone, but before you leave, you have to part with your resources. That's what it means. She's not happy, but at the same time, she still wants your resources. It's disrespectful, it's underhanded, it's loathsome, but these are the games that they play. And they're encouraged to play these games by other women, who are most likely feminists and Jezebels, who spread their manure online. Now... Their resources are spreading thin. And their little sick games don't work unless there's a sucker or a juicy target. Now, if you're a man worth your soul, you have eyes to see, ears to hear, your bread is fat, and your hands are strong because you have resources, you are a nice, thick, juicy target. That is why... You got these feminists getting all angry and bent out of shape because men won't date woke women. There it is. You see, they hate you, but they want what you have. And I'm on to their game. Men worth their salt, they're on to their game. So when they come to you and say, no, 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 check this out. 
This is advice for the blue peelers and the bitch made simps. Now, there are opposition, but I can go and give them this advice. When these trollops come to you and decide they want to abort or lead a relationship or marriage and say, I'm not happy, you ask them this. Is there someone else? You're not happy because there's someone else. Tell the truth. Now, if they pause, or if they decide to have an emotional bowel movement, you know that they're guilty. Because that was their plan all along. To divorce you, or toss you in the bushes, and part you with your resources. That was their game. Now, the bitch made sense to blue peel, get them down punching bags, and the purple peelers, they may not like us, but I can tell the truth, even in the face of our opposition. When they tell you that they're not happy, it usually means that they found someone else. It's time for you to wake the hell up. These are the games that they play. Take heed. Mm-hmm. This is Lana McTowell. And that's all I've got for you in this video, brothers. If you like the video, like seeing right the commentary, feel free to subscribe. If you don't donate, visit my channel. You'll find a tip jar on the upper right side of the screen. This is G Plus Icon. All right, fam. All right, brethren. You know the drill. Your routine. Growing way, living way. SYSBM. As for these feminists, these bag chasers, these degenerate, manipulative, gold digging leeches who will try to knot with you and then turn around and say that they're not happy because they're ready for you to be part with your resources. <laughs> Give them nothing. This is my PSA. More to come, brother. Sit tight. See you soon.